Hey, what's up my brothers and sisters? Welcome back to Blue Ridge Collectibles and we have a good one for you today. Of course, it's release weekend for a product I've been looking forward to only because I want to see what all the hubbub's about. If you're going to go out and do a Dungeons and Dragons themed magic set, man, it better be good. All right, it better be off the wall. So today we got a set booster box that we're going to crack open right here on the channel for you. In addition, I also wanted to show you guys that I also do have the Aura of Courage Commander deck that I will be doing a review of later this week, uh, specifically seeing and identifying any possible upgrades that we could do in this video or in that deck on that video to make that deck uh, much better, much, much better. Of course, you know, you could dump a whole bunch of, you know, reserve list cards and the powerhouse stuff in there to really make it rock. But what's the fun in that, right? All right, so we're going to go ahead and dive right into this. We got some set collector boosters going here, baby. And uh, yeah, oh boy, this is exciting. I even tried out one of the uh, collector booster packs while I was at my local card shop. Uh, we'll probably end up doing a full box of that, but we pulled this guy right here. Oh my God, one, only one of the best cards in the set, right? It's no Tiamat, but oh boy. Full art, uh, extended art, or whatever you want to call this, old Gnawbone. And th is it just me or is this guy like incredibly powerful? Um, and I would imagine can get broken in so many ways from here to Nashville. Uh, I mean, seven costed, seven, seven flyer, which for green is, well, that's a rarity. You don't see too many green flyers out there, but wow. Uh, but ch check out that ability. Whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, create that many treasure tokens. Well, I'd say that's pretty gosh darn good right there. So, uh, yeah, that, that's that's a pretty good hit. Let me do this real quick because uh, I think my lens. Oh, I feel like that that's a little bit better. So we'll see. All right, but we're going to go ahead and crack open this puppy. There's 30 packs all together here. Uh, we even have those list cards that you hear so much about. So we are going to... Embark on a journey like you have never seen before. Uh, but yeah, you guys have probably seen this. Whew. All right. So yeah, we got 30 packs right there. All right. So I hope you guys are enjoying the nice Kalia playmat too. Something a little bit different on the video rather than just staring at a boring old wooden table and, well, the wall in the background. All right. So this has a little pull tab. It looks like it's working A-OK. -okay. And we got some art cards here. Again, all right, so we have this uh, Neverwinter Dryad. All right, that's our art card. I'm telling you, uh, and you guys have probably heard this before, they need to actually get the people that did the artwork to sign them and then serial number them like they do sports cards. I think that would be so much hotter. They even have these uh, showcase cards in here. Uh, I guess they call them, what, ledger, ledger cards or whatever. Uh, pretty neat. So... There you go. And there's a, a few of the commons and uncommons. Uh, and we got Zalto. So there's two uncommons here. We got Zalto. Uh, the Fire Giant Duke. All right. So three colorless and two red for a 7-3 Trampler. Whenever Zalto is dealt a damage, venture into the dungeon. All right. These have dungeon cards too, which I think is pretty cool mechanic on their own. They will not break any like legacy, modern, vintage formats, anything like that. I think they're just kind of too slow. Uh, we got the Hand of Vecna. I actually saw some play tests of this card online. And the, between this and the Eye of, Eye of Vecna and then the main catalyst uh, was it the, it's the book. Maybe we'll pull one in here, but you put it all together, it makes it 8-8. Um, uh, was it an indestructible uh, <laughs> dude that just uh, lays waste to everything. Uh, you find the villain's lair is going to be our foil, and we do have cranial plating. All right. So why in the world they did a list card of a Time Spiral Remaster card that they just released six months ago is beyond me. But anyways, that's our um, list card. I think I'll just put those aside. So you guys kind of got the gist of how everything is all rolled up here. 
So no more Scooby snacks for the rest of the video. All right, that's interesting. So we got Demilich. So what's this on the back? Huh, that's, are they all? They're not all like that, see? That's the art card and this has the standard, standard back. What is this thing right here? Tiny Undead Challenge 18. Hmm. I wonder if this is something you could play uh, in actual D&D &D, and this is the card that you would use. That's uh, pretty interesting. Or maybe that, that's an art card that's part of the series. It's just different. Uh, we do have a Foily Mountain. And then here's the rest of the items here. And uh, the artwork is just amazing. I, I look at this. I'm like, yeah, it looks very D&D-like. I've played a few rounds of D&D with family and friends before. Uh, never had done it, <laughs> honestly, until about probably a year ago when I tried it out and uh, they taught me the ropes. I'm like, yeah, that's not bad. Uh, would I role play and actually dress like a barbarian? Probably not. Um, you know, because the rawhide, you know, kind of like outfits chafe. But we have a bard class, so we have classes in here. I think these are cool. There's a few of them that are just particularly really nice. Uh, Paladin class, I believe, is the, the best one out of the bunch. Uh, but we did get a bard class in there. Uh, we got Faraday's Fireball. All right, and even, you know, you could roll a d20 on some of the cards to uh, do the effect on there. So, you know, kind of taking your chances, that's for sure. But I think it's a really cool mechanic and... Uh, Supposedly, this set is taking the place of an actual core set. So we, that's why we don't have a core set 2022 is because of that. Because we have D&D Adventures of the Forgotten Realms. All right, so we do have a full art um, green dragon. It's an uncommon. All right, so there's what that one looks like. Yeah, we're gonna have a number of stacks here, so I don't know how it's all gonna work out. There's Fairy Day, Devil's Chosen, Barbarian Class, Circle. Oh my God, this thing is awesome! All right, so what we have here is pretty much a, a Gaia's Cradle on the stick. It's three green mana. Tap, add one green for each creature you control. Uh, I think Gaia's Gaia's Cradle is what forests, but this is creature. I think. I don't know. Anyways, th this card's like 10 bucks or $15 or something. I think that is just sweet. All right, so I think that's the most relevant um, pull thus far. Uh, we got Meteor Swarm. That's our other rare. And we had Triple Rare Pack. Volo, Guide to Monsters. This guy's entertaining. And um, he's an entertaining card to play with, too. Um yeah, Steadfast Paladin, and we have some advertisements. So, um, would love to know if you guys are doing a pre-release events. It started last weekend, and then the actual product released this weekend. As a matter of fact, yesterday, as of the taping of this video. Um, yeah, would love to hear your thoughts. As some would say that this is a incredibly, ooh, Evolving Wilds. Uh, incredibly underpowered set. I think there's a few cards that'll just be pretty amazing. I got downshifted from a rare bag of holding. Uh, Power word kill. Hey, cool. We got the showcasey Volo guide to monsters. So we got the the regular and the showcase. The regular and the showcase with the uh, you know kind of sketchy look. And of course we got the evolving wilds foil. I mean, and Storm Eddie is our list card. This is from, uh, was that Future Sight? All right, so it's got the unique bordering on there as well. I believe Cranial Plating is a common uh, for that Time Spiral remastered um, list card. Yeah, sometimes the pull tab doesn't work too good on here. All right, so there's that. The showcase art for Gelatinous Cube. Sounds interesting. Swampy. All right, split the party. Cridal of Baldur's Gate. Check for traps. Plummet. Wow, you're back in here. A precipitous drop. Wanty Malison. Hope I got that right. That's our uh, rare in the pack. And you come by the river. 
or I could go to the river and meet you there. And this is a dungeon card. All right, so the first look at a dungeon. A few of the creatures and whatnot that you'll see throughout this break will allow you to venture into the dungeon. All right, so this in a game of commander, I guess, would sit alongside your commander and you would play it um, normally. Like, you know, if you have if you have something that will make you go into the dungeon, you can play that. That's how that works. I think it's pretty neat, but I think there, there needs to be a few D and D expansions along the way for to work out. So there's another one of those. It's mimic, pretty cool. I remember a mimic from what uh, Dragon Warrior. You know, you open up a, a treasure chest thinking you're getting something really spicy, and you end up with a monster in your face. Oh uh, yeah. So, anyways, that's pretty cool. Bag of Holding, another one. Rust Monster, Shocking Grass. We got the Ranger's Longbow, and we got Long Rest. Now, that sounds familiar. I remember Long Rest if you wanted to uh, replenish all of your life. You know, in an actual game of D&D, &D, you would do a Long Rest instead of a short one. So, you come by, you come to the Knoll Camp. It's going to be our foil. And we have Boros Challenger. Can't believe this is in here. From Guilds of Ravnica, that's our list card in case you guys uh forgot list cards are faithful reprints of actual played i guess cards in the format we have a goblin whoops we have a goblin right there for our art card we got a foil planes uh manticore that's one of like the old school Characters in Magic, all right, Divine Smite, Iron Golem, and Westgate Regent is our rare in this pack. Find the Path, Foil, and behind that, we have an Advertisement Token. All right, so we're off to a somewhat slow start. Uh, again, the, the highlights so far is the Circle of Dreams Druid. That's actually a rare. That's going to end up being, like, the best rare card in the set, uh, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure of it, and uh, no doubt about it, we'll see tons of play in all formats. There's planes. We did get one of these dungeon module evolving wilds. They have a regular Magic the Gathering card back, uh, but that's pretty cool. That's very D and D like. So I'm saving that on on its own pile. Choose your weapon. There's Black Dragon. They got a different you know cycle of dragons in here. Intrepid Outlander. Oh my goodness, what a good card. Inferno of the Star Mounts. Take a look at this thing. It's uh, four colorless and two red for a 6-6. Six, six. That first line of text is pretty important. You can't counter this thing until it hits the, hits the ground. It's got flying in haste. All right, and you pay one red. Inferno of the Star Mounts gets plus one, plus zero until end of turn. So it's a pumpable Shiva Dragon-like creature or activation, uh, when its power becomes 20 this way, it deals 20 damage to any target. So you better have some mega ramp in the house. Oh, look at this thing. All right, so we got a uh, foily Zorn showcase. That's a rare. That's a crazy looking art. Behind that, we have another mine card, Pandelver this time. All right, that was a pretty sweet pack. I'm telling you, it's a little sick, man. It's uncontrollable sickness. It's that good. All right, there's our, whatchamacallit? All right, we can kind of breeze through some of this. Temple of the Dragon Queen, that's sweet art. Cliff Childs. All right, sudden inside, we got Adult Gold Dragon. All right, so kind of a van almost vanilla 4-3 flying lifelink haste for five. Uh, could be worse, I just wish it was one point toughness better. That probably would make the card broken, however. Hulking Bugbear, 3-3 three, three, Haster for three. All right, and Magic Minigame, Mimic Match. I'm going to have to read that later. Come on, pull tab. Cooperate with me. Cooperate. All right, so we got this one here, which is the mountain, of course, right? What else would it be? Dire Wolf. Okay, you happen onto a Glade, an Intrepid Outlander, Devoted Paladin, Grim Wanderer, that's sweet. It's got some tragic backstory, cast a spell only if a creature died this turn. Uh, look at that, two casting, um, two casting cost, Flash, 
5-3. Oh my god, goodness. I guess you could you could cast that on your opponent's turn. Uh, true Polymorph. All right, so target artifact or creature becomes a copy. Uh, contract, contact, I, I'm having like a hard time talking today. Contact other plane foil. That's pretty sweet art. There you go. Okay, yeah, the pull tab is giving me half of what I need, and that's a full pack opening experience. So uh, we have Etten right there. Mountain and another Evolving Wilds. Why not? You know, we'll double up real easily of the dungeon module card, which surprisingly sees a little bit of play. And Great Axe, that's cool. That's like a basic weapon right there. Uh, and White is our rare in the showcase. Zombie Soldier. Uh, Lightfoot Rogue. And we do have another Tomb of Annihilation and another dungeon there. All right, so we are through. Oh, calm. So far, we're not having too much luck with that. We are a third of the way through our box here, and I am McLovin' these cards. There you go. There's our art card, forest, and very sweet Temple of the Dragon Queen dungeon module. I would say on looks alone, that gets an A+. Oh my goodness, we got some man lands. They are back. So, Celestial Colonnade. It's like lemonade for your colon. Uh, yeah, <laughs> gross. Uh, yeah, these things are back, baby. So, like, uh, um, uh, Lava, Lava Claw Reaches. Uh, what's some of the other ones? Stirring Wildwood. So, your land essentially can come alive to be a creature. And that's fantastic. You know, in a pinch, after a board wipe, you still have a body. That you could activate anytime you want. So Den of the Bugbear. That's a really good one. There's a few. There's a cycle of them. Uh, looks like we have a pretty nice spicy pack. Minion of the Mighty. Tarask is our mythic in this one. Uh, kind of a low level one. And Asmodeus the Archfiend. Is a rare foil. And we have that again. Okay. Oh, I don't want to damage. Oh, there we go. There we go. That was a good one. I don't want to damage the cards, however. Dragon Turtle. Uh, it looks more like a shark if you covered up like this part of the body. It's just a really wicked shark looking fiend. Just mimic again. Oh, dungeon map. S sounds uh, Oswald. Okay, very cool. This is like a birthing pod for artifacts. All right, sacrifice an artifact. Search your library for an artifact card with a mana value equal to one plus the sacrificed artifact's mana value. Yeah, this is definitely going to see some play. That's a good card. We got Foil Manticore and Sleeping Potion is our list card from um, whatever that is. I forgot. It was so long ago. So long ago. Right, uh, we got Blink Dog, so that's our uh, art card. Now there's our Mimic from Dragon Warrior, Dragon Quest series, Spoils of the Hunt. Ranger Class, there you go, that's a good one. That's a good class to get right there. So you got three modes, you just pay pay the amount of money, or money, <laughs> mana, to level up to that section, and that's what you get. But these are all enchantments. All right, so we got that one. Oh, this is a great card for those mill decks. Look at this thing. Um, colorless 2 blue. Each opponent exiles cards from the top of their library until that player has exiled cards with total mana value 20 or more. So you burn decks out there. This will probably put a dent in some of that. Yeah, that's outstanding. That was a good one, all right? And the price of it's going up. I think it might be 8 to 10 bucks. Ranger's Hawk. And we got another dungeon. I think we doubled up there. No. Oops. Kalia's like, dude, what are you doing? You're just, you're crushing, crushing it with the crappy pull tab action. All right, well, you know, I got to be good at something, right? Okay, so we have Burning Hands, Chaos Channeler, Potion of Healing, Guild Thief, and Forsworn Paladin. Is our rare. We have a 
Rhyme Shield Frost Giant foil and Xanathar on that ad. Actually, we'll just do it like this. We'll do it like this. Whoops. What am I doing here? Okay, so we got... Oh, this is our signed card. That looks like Mordekainen Donato. Giancola. Nice. He's one of the old guys. Yeah, my dogs are going crazy because I pulled this. Mordenkainen. I mean, he's, he's German, I guess. That is a cool card. I'm going to say that. He's one of the old school magic artists from way back in the day, you know. Donato. All right. So Iron Golem, Magic Missile, Wizard Class. There you go. We got one for Wizards. Air Cult Elemental. Sylvan Shepherd. And... Oh, there we go. Very nice. Full Art Inferno of the Star Mounts Mythic. So that's the second one. We got the regular version. And now we got the uh, sweet looking full art. Uh, we got Plummet as well in the foil. And Phyrexian Tyranny. Could have opted for a better list card. <laughs> this one right here. I mean, this is the rare. Uh, I, there's an outside shot. I could get a Mythic or another rare. I don't know. Whenever a player draws a card, that player loses two life unless he or she pays two. So, that sucks. <laughs> uh, it's not as good as it sounds. Let's put it that way. Because um, it affects everybody. So, I mean, if if your deck is all about card draw, I mean, what is that? Blue, black, and red. So, you got the Knoll. Spicy. Albert, Bar the Gate, Secret Door, Dejanir, Gretchen Titch Willow, Old Bean, Sepulcher Ghoul, Choose Your Weapon, and there you go, Treasure Chest. This is an exciting D20 card that I would love to try out. If you roll two through nine, create five treasure tokens for three mana. That's some serious ramp right there. So that uh, Jaded Cell Sword. So that's our that and Young Pyromancer, good old OG uh, Magic 2014 action right there is our list card. Uh, Young Pyromancer, all, always a good card, and um, and it's still, you know a bunch of formats, especially modern. It's he's played in modern and a few others, if you know what I mean. All right, so we got what do we have here? That's pretty cool. Oh, it looks like they're in the foundry. All right, we got an island, and we have a full art white dragon. So we got another one of the cycle dragons in here. Pretty basic. It's got cold breath. So that'll tap tap down a creature. Um, doesn't untap as normal, of course. Uh, okay. Hopefully you guys are having a good time on this break. Uh, wish. Very good card. You know, it just costs just one more than Burning Wish. You may play a card you own from outside the game. So a sideboard card. That's a good one. Feign Death. And that's it. All right. We're almost down through two stacks. And we got one more. Uh, the set boosters are fun. Displacer. Forest. Dijini wins here. Ginny or Dijini. Which one do you guys prefer? Prosperous Innkeeper, Faraday, Devil's Chosen, Critical Hit. You know, kind of like, oh, we got a Mythic. We got a Planeswalker. Our first one, Grandmaster of Flowers. God, this this guy has dropped quite a bit. A huge fall from grace. But, uh, yeah, I think it's going to be okay. This is going to fit in a deck somewhere, you know. The Grandmaster will fit into a deck sometime in the future, whether it's in standard or something. So we got the Dungeoneer, Warren Power Stone, good old Urza Saga, uh, list card, uncommon. Pretty cool to see. Uh, by Mr. Higginbotham. All right, and the last one of this stack. Oh, by the way, I didn't exactly measure out the stacks. You know, one might have one or two packs. Tiamat, there he is. Boom, the best card in the set. As of the taping of this video, of course, if you guys come back a year from now, I may be a little bit different. Hama Pashar, White Dragon, there you go. Paladin class, all right. I was hoping I'd pull one of these. Now I just need to find three more so I could stuff it in a deck somewhere. But there you go, Paladin class and Hive of the Eye Tyrant. We got another Manland card. 
All right, this one produces a 3-3 Black Beholder creature with Menace. And whenever this creature attacks, exile tar target card from defending player's graveyard. All right, a little bit of graveyard hate action there. I'll take it. And we have the Direwolf Prowler as our foil. Those uh, showcases, by the way, look absolutely amazing. There you go. The last of the last. So wish me luck. Let's go ahead and we'll do it. And let's see what we come up with here in the end. Ah, sweet. What is this? Hmm. Windseer. Wow. Oh, I can't. I'm married. It's just not going to happen. Sorry, Windseer. All right. Kind of reminds me of uh, what's her face? Uh, I dream of Genie. Uh, Asmodeus, the Archfiend. All right. So we got a multi rare pack coming up here. That's our first rare. Skeletal Swarming. And behind that, improvised weaponry. And behind that, some ads. All right. Not exactly the greatest double rare, but I'll take it. Two rares is better than one. Unless it's a $10 rare. Ooh, wow. Contact other plane, please. For 100, Alex. Okay, eccentric, fly. I mean, that's about as basic of a card type as you, or a card name. It's an aura, sign of Stygia, armory veteran, and we got rogue class. All right, this is another good one right here. And we have a white dragon foil on the back, and then we have another dungeon. We got some dungeonous crabs up in the house. Yeah, I saw a few of the uh, collector boosters open of this product, and they look pretty good. I, I mean, I think. I will speak for everyone when I say that we were all pretty spoiled with Modern Horizons 2. I, I mean, it just is what it is. That's a modern set, and in every conceivable way, it crushes anything that comes after it. Like the Hobgoblin Bandit Lord right here. All right, behind that. Faraday, Devil's Chosen, is our foil uncommon. And that is that just a few more packs i want to thank you guys for joining in on this video if you came in from the blue ridge silverhound side always a pleasure please uh please show your support for this channel it's still growing it's still small and um it's a lot of fun all right we talk we talk about everything collectibles here dungeon map instrument of the bards pretty basic green for one green, you get all this stuff on this here. A lot of text. I don't have time to read. That's our foil. And we have another dungeon. Uh, I'd say we are um, we could do a little bit better in the mythic department. Um, you know, if we got, say, a Tiamat or an old Gnawbone. Uh, I mean, holler at your boy, you know. Um, that would be the... Hit, of course, o Monk of the Open Hand. Dragon Turtle, there he is. I thought we would find him here. Keen-Eared Sentry is our foil. There's a Den of the Bugbear, pretty cool art. Uh, I think those, uh, those new Manlands are gonna um, do pretty well. Uh, probably see them more in modern than anything else. I mean, they are going to have to compete with the OG Manlands uh, for sure. Uh, the Celestial and all the other ones. Uh, Sphere of Annihilation. So, there we go. Werewolf Pack Leader is our second rare. And behind that, Tiger Tribe Hunter foil. Yeah, every pack has a foil on the set collector boosters. So I wonder if you guys knew that or not. Yeah, unfortunately, we don't have a box topper to crack open in this one. It looks like we got another, uh, that's pretty cool, another full art here. We got planes, we got blue dragon. So what do we have? White dragon, green, blue. We got them all, baby. All right, Dryder, Basilisk, Horde Robber, Minsk. All right, I knew we would find a uh, another mythic in here, and why, why not Minsk? Although he is the cheapest mythic in this set, so... You know, it is what it is. Uh, it's interesting, and it's just a entertaining card to play. But is it going to break a format? Probably not. So, there you go. Temple of the Dragon Queen. Now, oh, that is pretty cool. For our 
uncommon foil. We got a whole grip of foils here. Ugh, there we go. The last pack, I'm going to attempt to do the uh, pull the ripcord again. Oh, that's cool. What is this? Lair of the Hydra. I want the Lair of the Hydra card. We haven't found one yet. That's another man land. It's fantastic for sure. Uh, Trickster's Talisman, Monk, Ray of Enfeeblement, Dancing Sword, eh, you know. Artifact Equipment, there you go. Nothing that's going to, again, you know. Resurrection is our list card. Yeah, our list cards was pretty pitiful in this one. Um, nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. There's our art card. True Polymorph. Polymorph Power Rangers. All right, there's our Swamp. Swamps. Brazen Dwarf. Soul Knife Spy. Sorcerer Class. We got another class. Very nice. Find that. Plus two Mace. Now that sounds very D&D like. And then another dungeon. Right there. Equipped Creature gets plus two, plus two. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to go ahead and do it. All right, and uh, we want that guy. Is that the blue dragon? We already got him. <laughs> uh, so that's going to go ahead and do it for this one, guys. Uh, I want to thank you for joining in again. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell, why don't you? And then come back for more. It's going to be a lot of fun. We do more D&D. &D, we do more Modern Horizons and a bunch of other great stuff. Barbarian class, critical hit. Hondi Fangblade. Hey, we got the Eye of Vecna. All right, in this one. That's what that one looks like. Gelatinous Cube. Behind that, Charmed Sleep. It's going to be our last and final card to talk about. That's that foil right there. Let's go ahead and do a, a little bit of a recap action. Let me go ahead and just take care of the sleevings of the notable cards in this one uh yeah it was it was fun uh, yeah i could this is you know after looking at it, it it was a rather unspectacular box i would say the list card list spot let us down by a huge deal um but aside from that they're just fun fun pulls in this one uh we got a i would say it's average it's average. I, I mean, just looking at TCG player, um, they, there's no cards that's going to particularly blow you away value-wise. Um, Circle of Dreams Druid. Man, that's good. That's a good one. Tarask. Not a good one. That was not a good one. The Inferno. Very nice. Yeah, so we ended up with a five mythic box. So that was pretty, pretty unspectacular. But anyways, here is our uh, recap. So uh, my favorite card, actually, is this. Uh, Donato Giancola, uh, Mordenkainen art card right there with the facsimile signature. Uh, Circle of Dreams Druid, it's the best rare in the set. So we did get one of those. Tasha's Hideous Laughter, the Mill King Queen itself. Uh, we did get a Foil Zorn Showcase. Tarask. So these are our mythics. We got a 1010 Tarask. Uh, Minsk, Beloved Ranger. Grandmaster of Flowers, Planeswalker. It's only one in the box. Uh, and we did end up with two Inferno of the Star Mounts. Um, the best value wise out of the box uh, are these two right here. Beautiful cards. Uh, sure to see tons of play for certain. Well, that's going to go ahead and do it, ladies and gentlemen. Again, that was Dungeons & Dragons, um, Adventures in the Forgotten Realms set booster box. Uh, a lot of fun. And, uh, yeah, we'll probably end up doing one of those collector booster boxes here real soon. That's going to go ahead and do it. You guys take care. Don't forget to hit that bell for instant notifications. As always, we are playing, gaming, and collecting together. You guys take care, and I'll see you.